Okay. Hi Justin, my name is Wynn Paris. I'm a, a musician, a yoga musician now, and a little bit of a jazz musician as well. And uh, I have an interesting history with jazz and yoga. It comes from my grandparents. My grandfather was a producer, and he produced uh, the great artist Sidney Bechet, the clarinet maestro, who uh, helped originate jazz. And my grandmother is a yoga nanda follower. So, uh, you know, I think the good karma that I got from my grandparents was I actually got to meet an authentic jazz clarinet legend, you know, incarnation of, of uh, for sure, Sidney Bechet, and his name is Perry Robinson. Perry was a legend of free jazz. But Perry also had this eclectic side where he would play other music. He would play klezmer, and he was once introduced to Swami Satchidananda, the integral yoga uh, guru. And so he started getting into playing kirtan, as a matter of fact, he used to play kirtan in the 70s, he told me, with this guy Ganesh Baba. And Ganesh Baba was this, like, the physicist. He was a protege of Einstein, an Indian guy who gave up uh, that to, to embrace becoming a guru. And he, would, he was the drug guru of the East Village in the 70s. So he would come and he would bring, like, a huge heaping, like, plate full of drugs. And all the hippies would, would like, party out. And Perry would play the clarinet and do kirtan. And then Ganesh Baba would go up to people and suddenly slap them upside the head. That was his darshan. He would hit them in the head and that would freak them out. It would break them out of their, their comfort zone. That was his way of, you know, because yoga is all about, in a way, yoga is about really freaking people out and getting them past their safety point. That's one side of yoga. You know, you can do that just softly or you can do that Shiva style. So he was kind of like Shiva style and Perry It's kind of like Shiva style. Sorry, someone might step on my food. Um, <coughs> so, so I met Perry, and he was this genius, he's like 72-year-old musician, and, and, and I took him out on the yoga tour. And one time we were playing at this place called Kripalu, which is this great center for yoga up in Massachusetts. And he said, hey, I have a buddy, a guy named Randy, he's this hot jazz drummer, why don't we bring him out on the gig? And already, you know, bringing Perry on Kirtan was a stretch. Because in America, kirtan tends to be this kumbaya, three chord, sweet little thing. You know what I mean? And Perry's like this far out dissonant jazz musician. So I was like, okay, well, we'll give it a shot. You know, got nothing to, to lose. We'll try it out. So we had this kirtan, and, and Randy was like playing this out there, like jazz drumming, you know, kind of thing. And Perry was like fully blowing crazy notes on the horn, and still it worked. You know, the people still got into it. I was surprised because I thought, again, we're pushing the boundaries of what, quote, spiritual music is. So that was my great experiment with Perry and Randy where we learned how to really fuse the most dissonant elements of jazz with the sweetest part of the kirtan. And it turned out to be a really beautiful sort of sweet-sour kind of kirtan mix. All right, namaste.